Hello friends, this is Umesh Arora from CatCam Solution Merit and today we are going to create this tailstock body and um, this is a tailstock for milling machine and uh, here we have two view, one is the sectional side view and one is the front view so I am going to start from the this front view or uh, you can say this side view, this one front view, uh, no issue <coughs> so uh, if you are new to our channel please do subscribe our channel and we will start this from annex so let's open it so I am selecting this sketch and YZ is my working plane and let's start with this rectangle so draw a rectangle now I am constant uh, this midpoint and the origin now specify the dimension the dimension length is 150 and the width is 25 here <coughs> now this upper portion where we have two circle so draw circle of diameter 60 30 is the radius see 30 is the radius and inside circle is 30 diameter so change it to 30 and click over it now I am aligning this center with the vertical axis and the distance is 125 from upper edge so change it to 125 close here we have to create this portion as well so select <coughs> this point and here and same from here <coughs> this is I think dragging here and there so drag it now the dimension is not visible so it is properly placed and here we have this one more thing so select and click here and the radius is 15 so diameter will be 30 and align with vertical and the distance between 2 is 35 distance between these two circle is 35 so change it to 35 and close and draw one line from quadrant to here now trim it so trim this 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 oops i do not this 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 c so this is my first sketch okay let's finish it finish it my sketch is fully fully constrained and properly defined <clears throat> so first of all extrude and here we have region boundary so i am selecting this and this total length is 150 so click and apply again this portion and this portion both I am selecting the both and the thickness is 18 so change it to 18 and unite apply and here for this shape okay reverse the direction and this thickness is 100 so change it to 100 and unite and okay see okay so this portion is created uh, this is also created and now we have to create this so that we can cut it okay so we have to create this rib see this rib we have to create so here select the same face so I am changing this mode and sketch select uh, this and my orientation must be here click now uh, here we have project curve and select this single curve so I want to project this okay and I want offset of this so select offset and the offset distance is 18 so 18 and click and ok now make it close and here also just click and here we have the make corner so I want to make a corner for this only this dimension is remaining input whatever you want so 22 enter and close my sketch is fully defined so finish it and change the shading mode and I have to extrude this so change it to 
connected curve and my connected curve is this and the dimension of this is 150 so change it to 150 okay and unite and click okay so this is the shape okay but it is not select double click and why it is not properly just go to here uh, and here we have this why just right click and delete it and here we have this delete this why it is like this extrude it show so we have this so again I want to extrude it so extrude and change it to reason boundary my reason is this and reverse direction and apply now face is merge select this reverse the direction and apply okay now it is okay and here we have this one cut and for this cut we have to select this plane my reference orient the view and okay here we have to draw an arc which is like this and the radius of this arc is 125 see 125 so change it to 125 okay and from the profile close this now specify the dimension it is not properly touch so make them consonant okay so this is my sketch finish and select this extrude I want to cut this and reverse direction and here keep 0 and don't select this select the subtract and preview okay hide this in sketch hide this back and again hide this now we have to define some fill it so from this view fill it because fill it is not specified anywhere so I am selecting as 5 apply and here and here here and here apply close so all fillets I have applied here now this portion we have to create so here in select from the sketch and draw one and one more two circle first position it so it is middle of this so click this and this make them consonant and from here to this point is half of 150 is 75 now dimension this circle what is the outer and inner circle is 30 close finish and extrude <coughs> this outer circle it is 6 mm six and here 25 plus 10 is 35 so change it to minus 35 okay and unite apply 
and change the mode to wireframe and here we have this inner circle I want to subtract and click on this is hide this and see here we have to define the fillet which is not specified here so I am selecting the same 5 here apply close I think this is 6 so change it to 6 and close okay it is 40 at the top and here it is 30 so no problem here we have resize face and select this this is 30 apply this inside is 18 so undo and first select resize face select and this is 18 and the outer is 30 right now you can see it is perfect <clears throat> now two holes are there so this is M15 hole so in hole my point is this and change here to thread hole or we have this screw clearance hole M15 M15 is not available here M15 is not available it is 16 so I am um, selecting this 16 and the uh, depth is this depth is so this is thread depth okay so here in thread hole we have the thread depth change it to 16 and 100 minus 36 and the total depth which is not given here so I am uh, taking as 72 and okay okay and one more hole is there this M12 so for this I have to create one datum plane select this and the distance is 32 so enter 32 and drag this hole okay so that it will be visible properly okay and now I am selecting this click and orient the view okay and here draw circle and this circle is see here one circle is there and this is M12 so this circle um, this is like a counter hole so I am selecting this as 22 so 24 okay now position this the position of this is 36 from here double click 36 and from bottom or from this point to this click fifteen and close. Now finish and in wireframe extrude the circle only outside and subtract apply and show okay here we have specify this M12 select and here we have this screw M12 and which is here and the value of depth is 
65 and more than this okay it is true or false basically and click So hope you understand this properly. This is my hole. Yes. And now I want to check the section view. So click add section. And from here you can match. Okay. This is my view. Uh, it is matching properly. No problem. And I want to switch this plane to this. And see this is the cross section you can match this from here so okay you can see some this is not like this okay it is circular from it is not a circular it is a rib like section okay so we have to change it so here is select this sketch and middle plane is this and click or reverse the direction okay and draw a rectangle from here to here and the depth is 10 and this one is 150 okay and close finish and extrude this take it symmetric and from here it is 30 so half of 30 is 50 and unite okay hide the sketch and here we will reorder it the whole this cut okay so resize face and hold this and this size select both or first drag and drop after this okay double click it Okay, no problem just delete and this hole I'm going to draw one hole simple hole at the center and 18 is a dia and through body preview okay see now match this view add it from this oh this is not the right plane my right plane is this close now uh, this is match properly hope you understand this properly so see you in next tutorial thank you for watching and please keep subscribe our channel